Welcome back all. So for today's video, I will be opening for you the DM2 box, Evo Crushnators of Doom. So this set was pivotal in releasing Evo creatures into the game. Um, two of the, I would say some of the bigger ones being like Crystal Lancer, Crystal Paladin, Fighter Duel Fang. So that brought that major mechanic to the game as well as quite a few other cards that still see play in competitive TCG decks. So today I will be opening for you the DM2 booster box. And there, there we are. Cool. Back at the shop. All right. So as always, we will start on the right. 12 packs first video, 12 pack second video. So we'll see what we get. Starting off, as always, with the puzzle card. Puzzle card. We have Aqua Bouncer as our first rare. We have Cavalry General Kiratops, Gray Balloon, Crystal Lancer. We were just talking about him. Very good. Can't be blocked. 8,000 attack and double breaker. And again, Liquid People. Excellent race. Mini Titan Get, Horde Worm, Aqua Shooter, Logic Cube, Silver Axe, and Galasaur. Next up, we have the Bolzard Art. Bozar Dragon, a pretty decent, very rare in this set. Puzzle card. Elf X, which reduces the cost of your creatures by one. They just can't cost less than one. Thought Probe, Larb Gear, Bark Whip, and we have our first foil, which is Dark Titan Magan. Nothing too exciting. Basically, whenever this creature attacks, your opponent discards a card at random from their hand. Basically, it's the Horde Worm effect, except instead of being 3-drop for 2,000, it's a 6-drop for 4,000. So, not really a uh, ideal card, that one. There were just a lot of other cards that did its effect better than it. But it's Demon Command. Demon Commands do need good bait for cards like Balloom, but you certainly would not use Magan. Good, decent card early on. Actually, I wouldn't even say decent card. I think Horde Worm does it better. So, my opinion, didn't really get a spot. Amber Piercer is our rare. Next, we got Silver Fist. Burst Shot, excellent card for anti-rush. We have Chaos Worm, which is great Evo... Evo... Not Evo bait. Great evolution card for Parasite Worms. When you put him in Battle Zone, you destroy an opponent's creature. So, he is a good one to do with cards like Horde Worm. Rumblegate, I did pass Magris, which is excellent draw power for light. Coral, which is an amazing card. May Titan Get. And Aqua Shooter to end the pack. Yeah, so some of the some of the races as the TCG progressed, some got really good um, either cards to evolve into or just had really good bait. Spiral Grass, some not so much. Armored Cannon Balborough, Silver Fist, Larba Gear. For the uncommons, then we go to Magris, Rumblegate, Marauz, Core Isle again, Faunch, and Mini Titan Get. So unlike the DM1 box, since this is a 60 card set, you will see a lot more repeats in this box versus that one. Which is good for getting tons of Core Isles, Magris, cards like that. Another puzzle card for Ladia Bale on the back. Poison Worm, we do have... Nope, no foil yet. I think it's coming up, though. Diamond Cutter, Thought Probe, Gray Balloon, and we do get a Fighter Dual Fang. Not too shabby. So he's basically the Bronze Arm Effect plus more. So when you put him into the Battle Zone, you put the top two cards of your deck into the mana instead of one. So out of all the Super Rares in the set, I would say the least desirable is probably Ultra Side Worm or, or Ladia Bale, so... That is a good hit. Speaking of Ladia Bale, got that artwork. Going into the next one. It's interesting how in this, this box, though, that all the puzzle cards have the advertisement on the back and the puzzle part in the inside. wonder if there's any rhyme to reason to that. I guess the more boxes I open, I'll see. Fortress Shell for the rare. Chaos Worm. Cavalry General. Mana Crisis. 
Kigstand, Recon, Operation, Resso Pacos, Leaping Tornado Horn, Engineer Kippo, and Critical Blade. Gone on to Bark Whip, the Smasher. As always, puzzle card. Then next we have Laguna, which whenever he attacks, you can search your deck and take a spell from your deck. Show the spell to your opponent and place it into your hand. Lost Soul, excellent, good, excellent uh, anti-draw card. Stained Glass, Diamond Cutter, Resso Pacos, Leaping Tornado, Engineer Kippo, Critical Blade, Scissor Eye, and Essence Elf, which is a card I quite enjoy using. Next up, more Fuel the Duel. This one, it is a uh, General something. Yeah, I don't know her full name. We'll run into her eventually. Fal Ega Dawn Guardian, which lets you get spell back. Mana Crisis, Lost Soul, Diamond Cutter, Gigastand, Essence Elf, Aqua Shooter, Engineer Kippo, Faunch, and Rainbow Stone. So, moving on to the Crystal Lancer artwork. Looks like we got about four more left for the first half of the opening. Another puzzle card. Hyper Squid Walter, which allows you to draw cards whenever he attacks. Barbie Gear, Cavalry General, Crystal Lancer is another uncommon. Engineer Kippo, Faunch, Rainbow Stone, May Titan Get, Horde Worm, and Aqua Shooter. So it looks like three packs, so we are running a little low on the foil side. So hopefully we get we need to get at least one. Hopefully two for the end of the first half. There it is, General Dark Fiend. That's the one I was telling you guys about. So another card that I don't think so much play. Whenever this creature attacks, choose one of your shields that looking, put it into your hand, and you can't use the shield trigger ability. Uh, some cards later on actually do give you the ability to use the shield trigger, which can be quite interesting to use in duels. Rainbow Stone, Horde Worm, Logic Cube, Gaussor, Recon Operation, and Leaping Tornado Horn ends it out. Last two. Can we get something? Unless we are loading all the foils on the back half of the box. This time we have a, looks like Larva Gear, not Larva Gear, sorry, Ladia Bale. Dogarn, the Marauder, is our rare. Gray Balloon. Win the Oracle, Armored Cannon Balboro, and we have Bolzard Dragon. So basically whenever he attacks, you get to choose a card in your opponent's mana zone. Let me see if, yep, there we are. Yeah, it's nice to have the zoom feature finally, so I gotta get used to that for you guys to show some of the more iconic cards off. So yeah, whenever this creature attacks, choose a card in your mana zone, and your opponent's mana zone, and put it into his graveyard. They uh they always stuck to the male pronouns. I know some of the cards they have opponents, but a lot of Duel Master cards have him. They definitely excluded women, which is kind of sad. I don't know if the OCG uh, fixed that. Any of my OCG fans watching this, feel free to tell me if they ever um they ever changed that in the OCG cards. Because for TCG, they always use the male pronoun and don't really ever use she. Well, don't they use opponent sometimes, but certainly never see she on a card. Win the Oracle, Mana Crisis, Armored Cannon, Silver Axe, Giga Stand, Resso Pacos, Engineer Kippo, Scissor Eye, and Essence Elf to end out this half. So, not much to write home about for the first half. Three foils, so hopefully on the back half we get quite a bit more. So, I will be showing the second half in a couple days, and hope you all can tune in for the second half of the video. See you soon.